Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Gaming. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to play Halo Infinite with a mouse and keyboard when you're playing on your Xbox. So let's go ahead, jump into the video right now. So I have my mouse and my keyboard right here on my desk, and I'm going to be using the Xbox One S. Now this does have three USB ports on it, but I'm gonna be using this Anchor USB hub that has four additional slots. And I'm just gonna be plugging my mouse and keyboard into the front slot right here. So I currently have my controller plugged in and I'm gonna unplug this and plug in my USB hub. Then I'm gonna take my USB mouse and my USB keyboard and just plug them in right here. Now you can see my keyboard is lit up. Now let's go ahead and try to play Halo Infinite with a mouse and keyboard. Now I already have it plugged in and I just press enter. Now it says, who are you? Sign in. Let's go to my main account and press enter. So I can see my screen. Let's move around with my mouse and just see if a cursor pops up or if anything pops up. I can move around with the the arrow keys right here, press escape. Let's go to a rank, uh, custom game right here and just see if we can move around now. I don't see a cursor on the screen for some reason, but let's go ahead and just launch a game and see if that pops a cursor up or if we're able still to move around. But I'm able to navigate, press escape, enter, and do all that stuff just on the keyboard itself. See if we can find the Xbox button. So the window key will open up the guide menu. So the window key right here next to control and alt, and it's loading the map right now. So it seems like it will work. I just don't have a cursor, or I can't find one at least. We might be able to go into the Xbox settings and just go through like the mouse and see if there's a setting to display the cursor. But we are loading into a custom game right now and we're going to find out if this works on the xbox one and this will also work for the xbox series x or s if it works on the xbox one so just a couple seconds i know it's the xbox one s loads this game quite slowly compared to my pc oh there we have it i'm moving around this is kind of funky right now i'm not able to look all the way down but i'm able to move around what I don't know, this is a little bit strange. Maybe it's my mouse. I can look up and down, but I can't like look all the way down. Let's go to settings and then go over to keyboard and then just go under here, press enter. See if there's any additional settings under here we have to fix. I mean, we can see all the different um, keyboard buttons. So, there we go. It's working a little bit better now. I think my mouse is just a little bit off. <laughs> I can move around left and right, up and down. Hmm. I'm going to try a different mouse instead of this one. Alright, so I have my main mouse I use for my computer. I'm going to plug this one in and disconnect my older mouse. So the one with all the side buttons I'm going to put to the side. And then I'm going to use this one here. So I have two of them plugged in now, my mouse and keyboard. So this one, I mean, it works a little bit better, but I'm not able to like turn stuff with it. As you can see, I can only move left and right, but I can't move all the way down. So I mean, this like kind of works. So let's go to the Xbox settings here and go to my profile and just see if there's any options for Halo Infinite or maybe I'll have to restart the game completely. So let's go to devices and connections. All right, so under devices and connections, let's go on down to mouse right here and select this. So here are my options, the pointer speed, slow or fast, switch primary and secondary mouse buttons. Okay, that's not gonna help me. Huh. Let's go ahead and just close down Halo Infinite and start it up. So let's press the Windows button, open up our guide button. And then let's go to Halo Infinite. Hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna get those control options up here. 
but I'm going to have to get my controller plugged in real quick and then all right, so let's go to game options and just close out of this real quick. Now I'm gonna disconnect my controller. Let's go ahead and relaunch Halo Infinite. All right, so let's go ahead and press enter and relaunch the game. Jump into Halo Infinite. I still don't see a mouse cursor. So that hasn't improved yet. Now let's go down to custom game and just start up the same custom game and see if we're not restricted with the mouse. All right, so we're back in the game. Let's move around now. Okay, so there we have it. I can move around and I do not have any restrictions in the game whatsoever. I can move my mouse up and down and it feels good. And um, if you are running into this issue, all you have to simply do is restart the Halo Infinite game, quit out of it, launch it back up, and just make sure your connections are secured. Now, we can see that the mouse and keyboard on the Xbox isn't fully implemented yet because there is no cursor when you're moving around the screen. You have to use your arrow keys and the keyboard to do that. So just give it some time and the developers will go ahead and make sure this works. I'm assuming by December 8th, 2021 everything will be fixed and ready to go for the launch of Halo Infinite and we should have a mouse cursor but you can still play it in the game if you want to go ahead and do that if this video did indeed help you out go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six gaming